Hello everyone. I'm just answering some short questions in this video here. This question is from homework page 459. Question number two. Um, it's just saying which of the following relations are actually functions. Now for the very first one here, uh, we just want to state what a function is. A relation is a function if each input, so the x value, has only one possible output. So we're checking for our first one here. Each of these x values are different. Not having a repeated x value means each of these x values has only one possible output. So perfect, that checks off. This one is indeed a function. Now in B, C, and D, we're going to go ahead and apply our vertical line test. So that means if I draw a vertical line and it touches two points at any point on the graph, then that makes it not a function. So the first two is easy to see, obviously not a function because it touches at two points. When it touches at two points, what that means is, let's say that this is actually uh, a value of negative two. So let's say this is negative two. We're basically saying when we have an input of negative two, y could be hypothetically a positive one, but it could also be another value. I'm just gonna take a guess here, maybe a positive four. So that means the input negative two now has two possible outputs, not just one. That makes it not a function. So that's why we can use the vertical line test here. In D here, our vertical line test does not um, uh, our vertical line test fails at this particular part here, okay? So that is also not a function. Looking at E here, of course, the x values do not repeat, so yes, that one is a function. The next question I want to look at is um, page 462, that's question 11 here. Option, um, option 1 here says multiply the number by 3 and add 5, so I could write it out as an equation, y is equal to 3x plus 5, well, that looks like a linear function, actually, so that one's fine. Question number two here is actually a function, and it is a typical uh, parabola that is facing downwards. So a good way to test this is to plug in random values for x. Let's say if x is equal to 1, does it work? If x is equal to 2, do we only have one output for y? So on and so forth. I want to show you a quick tool here. This is desmos.com slash calculator, and it works very similar to the graphing function in your TI Inspire calculator. So let's say if we were to put a graph in y is equal to x squared. This is our typical parabola. So it's a graph that faces upwards and goes up in uh, infinitely. That's facing upwards because all values of x, uh, all values of y are positive. Now, if we have y is equal to negative x squared, regardless of the value of x, y is always going to be positive. So let's put in a negative. There we go. So we're basically saying if x was equal to, let's say at this point, x is equal to 2, y has to equal to negative 4. If x was equal to negative 2, y is still equal to negative 4. That's because negative 2 squared gives us positive 4, and we've got that negative sign in front of negative 2. So that's what your graph looks like. Uh, there is no repeated input, and our vertical line test does pass. I hope that answers your questions for these two. Let me know if you have other questions.